point court. I'm not going to talk about too much right now, but the key idea is we're all born originals and most of us die copies. And the course is how to clear the thought forms of the mind so you become original again. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk about it. I did promise that we uh, would talk a little further about mitochondria and all the best supplements for them. Remember, mitochondria are the energy cell. Without them, you just don't have any energy. And what I'm seeing today with a lot of people is that there's a deeper and deeper depletion of energy. And when I measure people in kind of more subtle ways, I can see that they've actually lost a certain amount of mitochondria. The average amount of mitochondria, and people vary, but are 5,000 per cell in the brain and about 3,000 per cell in the heart. Brain is 3,000. Uh, but it doesn't matter. The principle is, I'm seeing a lot of people around 300 or 400, and they're exhausted, and they aren't functioning so well, and they don't have any energy, and their minds aren't clear, and their memories aren't so good. Okay, so when we start building up the mitochondria, they start working better. And there are certain things that uh, deplete the mitochondria, like EMF fields, like not getting enough sleep, like stress, those kinds of things. And there's certain things that build it. Meditation helps build the mitochondria. One of the things that uh, I think is important is three key nutrients. One of them is D-ribose. Another one is a PQQ. It's a, a, a newer one that's come out that's really, really good for building the mitochondria. Now you have energizing the mitochondria and CoQ10 helps the mitochondria and energize the mitochondria. Important things that really goes on here is uh, an atomic ion, which I use called alumine, a scalar wave activated. And that has been shown, again, to increase the mitochondria in, in the heart. So these are really good ones. But there's more. Because one of the things that happens is, is under the free radical uh, attack that we all live under, is we've got to uh, deal with the free radical problem. So I use a variety of antioxidants. The one I particularly like is Antioch uh, Supreme. Um, and another one is anth anthotaxin. Uh, and they're really good for the antioxidants and, of course, the vitamin C and the vitamin D. And your B. These are all things that make a big difference. And one of, uh, another one that particularly makes a big difference is resveratrol. So those are some key players. Now, there is another key player, which is your phospholipids. And there's really two, uh, phosphatidylcholine and phosphatidylserine. And both of them help build up the lining of the mitochondria cells. It that way. There's another one, nitric uh, oxide, that is really good for also building nitrochondria and increasing the oxygen, oxygen content in your whole body in, by opening up the vessels. And one of the practices that I think are really good for building mitochondria is pranayama, because the more oxygen we bring into the system, really, the better we are. Okay, pycnogenol is another one uh, that's a, a good one to use. 
What are some of your good foods? Well, you got blueberries are pretty big. Pomegranates are good. A lot of the cruciferous vegetables are really good. So the sulfur, um, magnesium is good. Green teas are good. So we have a whole variety of things that I think are really good to build. So those are the nutrients that are like what I call the key players in the foods that are more the key players. And that, that does include avocado. The biggest thing is we have to learn and live in a way that protects. It means get enough sleep um, that brings oxygen into the system. Not just oxygen, but the electrons from the oxygen get in and feed and energize. That's another thing. Um, so we also have to minimize the effect on our, our life. And soon I'll be talking more about that. You've kind of gotten an old, okay, of feed the mic. We have to style that's going to build the mitochondria and the key, uh, really key um, elements are PQQ and the ribose and the aluminine and the antiox supreme and uh, your, your basic antioxidant nutrients, your vitamin uh, B's and vitamin C. You have to protect the membranes, phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidyl C.